hey what's going on guys in this video I'm gonna do a question from engineering mechanics the question is asking the crate has a weight of 550 lb and determine the force in each supporting cables so in order to do this question first of all we have to draw a diagram the diagram is going to be look like this the same uh, same format and it's going to be the arrows uh, points upward because this pulling pulling right so upward and this is going to be weight uh, acting downward and this is going to be our TAB tension AB and this is going to be TAC and we have to note that angle is 30 degree uh, from this one is 30 degree and we have to note this distance of this 3, 4, uh, 5 that's all we need and we have to mention that this is in this one y direction is positive and here x is positive so that's it. that's all I do, all we have to do now let's solve this question <coughs> to begin with uh, we have to uh, I'm going to take the x components first so first of all we have to put sigma sigma x right uh, what is it uh, okay f of x f of x is equal to 0 because it's in equilibrium so it's 0 and let's do that so I am taking all the x components mm, in this direction ba if you see it's a uh, like aligned with 30 degrees so it's going to be negative uh, and it's opposite to the whatever the direction we are taking right so it's going to be negative uh, tba cos, t, uh, cos theta so it's negative tba uh, cos 30 degree negative TBA cos 30 degree and uh, plus say this is positive side and plus if you say uh, always the X component is going to be our adjacent and uh, Y component is going to be opposite side so X component is 4 so cos theta is going to be 4 adjacent over high frequency so 4 over 5 plus uh, this is plus sign right and it's TAC so it's going to be TAC 4 over 5 so which is going to be equal to 0 this is in equilibrium and let's take the y components F, uh, Fy is equal to 0 let's see so in this case uh, the other side is uh, pointing upward so it's going to be uh, TAB sin, t, sin 30 degree but it's positive uh, T <coughs> T T A B T A okay T A B right T A B T A C T A C sine thirty sine thirty degree and plus uh, and uh, this also pointing upward so plus uh, T A C T A C and this is going to be 3 over 5 opposite over hypotenuse and the weight is uh, acting downward this is going to be W and weight is acting downward and it's given it's 550 LB the way it create weight is 550 LB so it's going to be minus 550 equal to 0 so this this is the information we have let's see how we can solve this let's form the equations first so first equation cos 30 is root 3 by 2 well, I'm gonna put it right here so it's gonna be uh, root 3 TAB over 2 root 3 TAB over 2 plus 4 over 5 is gonna be 0 0.8 so plus 0 0.8 TAC is equal to 0 and the second this is my first equation and second equation I'm going to form it's going to be TAC sin 30 sin 30 is half they say therefore TAC over 2 TAC over 2 plus uh, plus TAC 3 over 5 3 over 5 is going to be 0 0.6 so it's going to be 0 0.6 uh, oh this is TAB guys this is TAB and this is TAC right 0 0.6 TAC and this is 550 it's going to be 0 this is my second equation so to solve this equation I have to uh, like uh, cancel one thing out because we have two unknown variable in two equations so I have to eliminate one in order to do that I have to equalize and subtract 
So in order to do that, what I want to do is I want to check the first equation, multiply by uh, 0 0.6 and divide by 0 0.8. So 0 0.8 will cancel and 0 0.6 will come. Then I can subtract to eliminate right. So let's do that. I'm going to take the equation one and multiply by 0 0.6 over 0 0.8. Eight, so 0 0.8 will cancel the 0 0.8 and it will, it will become 0 0.6 let's do that so it's going to the first equation is going to be multiplied by 0 0.3 times 0 0.6 over 0 0.8 tab plus it's going to be 0 0.6 tac equal to 0 so this is my equation and uh, I have formed this equation now uh, let's say this is third equation and what I'm going to do is 3 minus uh, I'm going to subtract the uh, second uh, third equation from the second equation so let's see 2 minus second equation minus third equation so which is going to give me <coughs> which is going to give me like uh, this 0 0.6 0 0.6 so this will cancel out when I subtract and the remaining part is that's what we have to consider so it's going to be 2a t t o c o t a c over 2 t a c over 2 and mm, so, so, so this is t a b guys this t a b I don't know why I missed it same mistake t a b and t a c t a c cancels t a b is only one remaining so t a b over 2 that's I got it from second equation and third equation we have this one so it's going to be minus and minus uh, root 3 times 0 0.6 over 0 0.8 times TAB equal to and uh, minus uh, 550 and there's nothing to deduct but I am uh, what I can do is I can directly bring the 550 to the other side it's going to be positive 550 and I have nothing to deduct from this uh, so I'm just going to leave it like that so it's going to be TAB TAB2 let's uh, let's calculate and put it to that so minus minus become plus so half in this number uh, let's calculate let's see okay 0 0.5 uh, first of all uh, I'm going to calculate root 3 square root <coughs> so square root 3 times 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.8 plus 0 0.5 right so it's going to be 1.79 1.790ab which is equal to uh, 550 so I can solve for TAB TAB is going to be 550 over 1.79 which will give me 550 over 1.79 over 1.79 is equal to 307.26 <coughs> so let's make to sure uh, make <coughs> let's make sure our calculation is right I'm gonna check it again uh, root 3 times 0.6 okay divided by 0 0.8 okay 1.29 plus mm -hmm. wait a minute 0 0.6 so divided by 0 0.8 okay we multiply okay so 1.29 plus 0 0.5 1.7 perfect so if we divide 550 divide by 1.79 is 307.26 307.26 this is my final answer for AB and this is uh, since this one is LB so this one also going to be LB and uh, well, since we have this information I can I can substitute this value in the first uh, equation and I I can find the TAC so let's see how we can find this so root 3 times uh, I can directly say this so I'm gonna write this in this side uh, so let's see 
so it's going to be 0 0.8 TAC and this one I can I am going to take the other side of the equation it's going to be root 3 TAB over 2 and let's see AC, TAC and T root 3 TAB we already know 307.26 over 2 then this one divide here 0 0.8 times 2 let's see what we get <coughs> root 3 times 30.26 equal to this value and divided by uh, 0 0.8 times 2 just give me wing, wait a minute <coughs> this is 307.26 okay it's root 3 times 307.26 over 1.6 so 332 332 2.62 lb so this is my final answer for this one and these are the two values tac is this one and tab is this one i hope you guys enjoy this video see you next time